The Geary family is really special, and they're so blessed to be getting a wonderful addition today with Shannon. Shannon, you are beautiful inside and out. To use an obscure engineering reference, before Geary met you, his life was like a free body diagram. It was very static and stable and boring. You have made Geary dynamic. throw not one, but two pennies into the Trevi Fountain to make sure you find true love. Shannon is the type of person who will swim you to safety when you find yourself snorkeling face to face with an enormous two-foot shark. <laughs> and Shannon is the type of person who will plan a surprise birthday getaway weekend for you that she doesn't even get to go on just because she knows you need it. There are really no words to describe the bond between sisters, but the three of us are connected forever. Now, obviously Shannon does it all for the people that she loves, which had us a little nervous about the kind of guy she was gonna end up with. <laughs> Would she be doing the dishes every single night? <laughs> Would she be folding all of their laundry? <laughs> Would she be left making him a cocktail after a long, hard day of work? <laughs> when your sister is so thoughtful, you get a little nervous that she might get taken advantage of. And then we met Dan, and we realized, holy shit, there's two of them. <laughs> Yuri and I lived together uh, with Barn and Span at a house known as the Nebraska House. Yuri was the dad of the house. <laughs> Barn was the mom. Span was the bratty only child. I was the red-headed stepchild that lived underneath the stairwell in the boiler room. As our father, Geary wasn't perfect. Sometimes in engineering class, I'd have to wake him up. Sometimes he'd come home from work in a bad mood. But like any good dad, Geary was always there for you. sister, I've really felt responsible for her. I want to protect her and make sure that nobody hurts her. And I've recognized that that might not have made it always the easiest to bring someone new into the family. But Dan, with you, it has been incredibly easy. Literally every single one of us loved you the moment we met you. You take such good care of our Shan Bear. We couldn't be happier to have you join the Midgley crew. Over here is my first son-in-law, and Brian made the comment that in motion pictures, 
the sequel is never quite as good as the original. <laughs> Brian wondered if this would hold true for son-in-laws. Dan has elevated my Instagram by calling me Big Fish Steve, by buying me a thousand followers, and I made me the person who I am. And most of all, Dan makes Shannon a better person. So I can say without a doubt that Dan, the sequel, will live up to the high standard that Brian, the original, has set. Dan is truly an amazing person and I could not have picked a better husband for my wonderful daughter. The story of Shannon and Daniel is one that has the script of a box office hit romantic comedy <laughs> made of unrelenting pursuit and commitment with sprinkles or perhaps dollops of now laughable comedic situations. Dan first saw Shannon the night before a wedding of John and Stephanie Forrestal. So for all the singles out there, be careful. Tonight could be a pivotal moment in your future. <laughs> Given Dan's physique, his height, and general sex appeal, <laughs> he felt pretty confident. But Shannon was clearly different from any woman that Daniel had encountered before. And while there's still some debate on who was first out on the dance floor, it's clear there was some obvious chemistry. The night doesn't end there. Eager to impress Shannon, Dan took her to his local bar where he ordered the bar's specialty cocktail, which Shannon gracefully refused. It's hard to tell if she was playing hard to get or not at that point. And while the drink might not have been her style, Dan clearly had piqued her interest. Fast forward a few days, and they were nonstop texting and calling one another, trying not to remember that Shannon lived in Washington and Dan in Michigan. When you look at some of the obstacles that this couple faced early on, and how they teamed up and got through it, you knew that someday we'd be standing here today. So our wish for you both is you always have love and laughter. And we pray that you will enjoy your happily ever after. <laughs> Not nervous, just woo. <laughs> She's so beautiful today. <laughs> I, Daniel, take you, Shannon, to be my wife. I, Shannon, take you, Daniel, to be my husband to have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to love and cherish you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Daniel, you may kiss your bride. Green be the grass you walk on, may blue be the skies above you, and from this day forward, may the joys of today be those of tomorrow. And if you encounter a day that is stinking, give us a shout, we should go drinking. to the Chicago Illuminated Company offering us this magical and unique urban indoor and outdoor venue to celebrate Shannon and Dan's wedding here on the night skies of the Windy City. Today has been an absolutely incredible day that Shannon and Dan will cherish forever. Maureen and I would like to thank you for taking time out of your busy lives to come celebrate with us this weekend. We appreciate you being here this evening and joining us.
like to start off by thanking our family and friends for all the support that brought us here. And uh, I'd also, though, like to thank my wife, Shannon. Wife, wife. For those of you who know her best, you wouldn't be surprised about how thorough and thoughtful she's been throughout this 21 month engagement process. She always puts others over herself uh, and wants to make sure that everyone's happy. And I don't think I've ever met someone as selfless as her. And now, as you all heard earlier tonight, I will take it on as my personal vow to make sure that she's gonna be the happiest woman alive. <laughs> the years have flown by since your birth in Franklin, Tennessee, being your father has been and continues to be a joy. There's nothing like the love a parent has for their child. You do your very best to nourish them and give them a happy home to grow in and you pray for their well-being and success. Shannon and Dan are both confident, capable, and ready to change the world, but are also so grounded and so approachable. At this point, it's clear to all of us, we can take some lessons from these two and how to effectively love one another. Love is truly about sacrificing your needs for the other and done well, both sides will reciprocate to ensure that the other's needs are met. This is the pinnacle of love and Shannon and Dan are examples of this to us all. <laughs>